Bolivian President Evo Morales enacted the new constitution on February 8th. This year, the new constitution grant greater power to the indigenous majority, including its land rights. Now, the country moving to cap private estates at 5,000 hectares and beginning to hand over land to indigenous and communities groups as part of its constitutional reforms. Emboldened by a new leftist constitution, Bolivia President Evo Morales recently handed out around 38,000 hectares of lands recently confiscated from five big ranches in Bolivia's wealthy eastern lowlands to poor indigenous people. Today the issue is land. We are beginning to put into practice the political constitution of the Bolivian state and bring an end to the practice of latifundio land holdings. Members of the Guarani indigenous people waited on hand in the Santa Cruz town of Garabati for the arrival of Morales for the official land handover. In total, the state seized some 38,000 hectares and is handing it over to small producers and members of the Guarani indigenous group. In addition to unequal land distribution, the Guarani peasant farmers have also claimed to have suffered from unjust working conditions on the Caparacito Ranch. They greeted Morales with signs reading justice, land, liberty. Yes, they've mistreated all the indigenous communities. The mistreatment has been the compulsory work since we were seven years old, when we began working the land. Morales has asserted that private property will be respected in the landlocked South American country, but that landowners are obligated to complete social and economic objectives. The government said that this roundup of 30,000 hectares is part of a planned 90,000 hectare turnover, largely focused on land in the Chaco region. While in agreement over opposition to exploitive working conditions, a spokesman for the Santa Cruz opposition said that the claims were a smokescreen for the confiscation of private land. We are not opposed to labor oversight. Someone who doesn't pay a correct salary ought to pay a fine. And if there is someone who has employees in a situation of servitude, they ought to be put in prison. But that has nothing to do with property rights. It's as if someone, because they hadn't paid for light or water, had their house taken away. Instead of a fine or cutting the light. The spokesman for the 50-year-old organization went on to buttress his opposition to land seizures and the possible precedent that they established through a classic defense of market incentives. This issue has put the entire productive sector at risk. It has taken away incentive for investment, and we've signaled to the government that this path, with a substitution of the individual producer for the collective whole, Bolivia is going to suffer a loss of its capacity to produce foods. According to the chamber's statistics, the land cultivated in Santa Cruz has grown from 50,000 to 2.1 million hectares over the course of its existence. The chamber also boasts overseeing the production of 100% of oil-based food products in the country, and almost the same totality in rice, among other food products. TITV Weekly.